My name is Alfred Todd. I am an insurance advisor with NCB Insurance Agency of the NCB Group. Now, welcome here today. I have some very important, very critical information I want to talk to, especially us men about, and how we can protect ourselves. So the whole I, the topic here is our critical illnesses. How does it affect us? What can we do to protect ourselves? How can we ensure that we live our best lives possible? And I'm going to give you this, this information. I really hope it works out for you. I really hope you take note and follow everything that I say carefully. Critical illnesses are non-communicable diseases that will affect us throughout our lives. Throughout our life. They are lifestyle diseases. They affect us. They are very costly to deal with. They are costly not only in terms of expenses but also in terms of uh, our mental health, how it affects our families, our well-being generally. It affects us. And, but then there are ways, while we can't prevent it from happening to us, we can manage the process to ensure that it is as seamless as possible. So first, critical illnesses, examples are cancer, heart attack, stroke, major illnesses that are, have a very high cost. Now in Jamaica, especially in Jamaica, the top three critical illnesses that we're faced with are cancer, heart attack and stroke. The number one being cancer, and if I break it down a little further, prostate cancer affects most men in Jamaica at this point in time. Now, can we prevent it? Yes, let's speak about the lifestyle change that you can make to try and help to prevent us from facing these diseases. Managing our health, exercising, getting up and being fit, managing our diet, ensuring that we're eating the proper foods to ensure that we give ourselves the best chance. But, but, there are other factors that we have to take into consideration that predispose others to these diseases such as genes or her the heredity. These can affect us and still cause us, despite all our changes in our lifestyle, these will still cause us to maybe experience some of these diseases. Now what to do if you are faced with this disease? Now firstly, you have to go to the doctor, you have to start there. Now if your doctor comes and says, sir, you know, unfortunately, this is what you have at this point in time. Now firstly, you have to understand this is not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world and there are ways and means that you can protect yourself. And I'm going to tell you about it and how you can start protecting yourselves even before you start your face with these critical illnesses. So firstly, and firstly, you have to have a backup plan. Now this starts long before you go to the doctor, long before you're experiencing the symptoms, long before you're even thinking about these critical illnesses, your backup plan has to be what am I going to do in the event that I have a critical illness? How am I going to fund this? Because it's extremely expensive. For example, cancer. One treatment, radiation treatment for cancer can cost upwards of $1.5 million. One single radiation treatment can cost upwards of $1.5 million. Now, I know that there are persons who are pockets have no issue with that, that number but then there are many 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 other persons who will have a hard time finding those funds and we see sometimes persons going to the or into our tv stations and social media crowdfunding trying to get assistance to, and to give ourselves that best chance now we don't have to do that there are ways we can protect ourselves from before and that is where the whole idea of insurance comes in our insurance is really about transferring the risk from you the risk the cost from you to a company and that's what insurance does. In the event that we are faced with this tragedy, this sum of funds is allotted to ensure that you give yourself the best chance possible. That's what insurance does for us. Now, that conversation has to start, as I said, long before you're faced with a critical illness. So you have to be thinking down the road. You don't do it. Once that horse goes through the gate, that's it. Insurance can't play a role anymore. So you have to start, you have to ensure that this is done long before. That's number one. Two, critical illnesses, as I said, while we can't prevent it, we can manage it. And we have products that can help us to ensure that it provides a payout in even if we're faced with a critical illness. So, at NCB Insurance, we have our critical illness plans, and there are, there are 10. We have our coupon plans that cover 10 major critical illnesses. I'm gonna name them for you. Cancer, heart attack, stroke, our top three major burns, paralysis, blindness, coma, deafness, loss of speech, and finally multiple sclerosis. Now these are some of the major illnesses that we're faced with nowadays. Now we do have other plans that, are, that have a more 
uh, they, they cover much more illnesses than that. But this is as generally a simple plan that ensures that you're covered in the event that you're diagnosed with any of these illnesses. And it pays up on the first diagnosis. So in the event that you're diagnosed with a critical illness, once you come to us, you say, listen, my doctor said I had this, and you provide the evidence of such, then we transfer those funds to you so you can use it to take care of yourself. Now, yes, insurance comes at a cost. And as I said, remember I said earlier that the conversation should have started long before you're faced with the illness. Now, how life insurance works is that the younger you are, the cheaper it is. And not many persons realize that. To wait until you're 50 increases the cost. So a 50 year old taking out $5 million critical illness coverage will pay a lot more than a 25 year old taking out the same $5 million critical illness coverage. And we have to have that resonate within us. Many persons wait until it is mm, a little bit too late. Some persons wait until the, the, the cost is outside of what they can afford and then that becomes a challenge as well and then we're left to the whims and fancies of the universe. So we don't necessarily want that. We want to put the room, have the control remain within our grasp. So firstly, the conversation starts early, get on board, have your agent, speak to your agent, hopefully this is an agent at NCB Insurance Agency, about how we can get this on board. So once you start the process now, then we have to also take into consideration there's a waiting period generally of about six months. So again, you have to start the conversation early. So within that six month period, no claim will be honored during that period. And then after that, you have home free, you have peace of mind. And that, was, that is what insurance does for you. It provides peace of mind. So you don't have this to worry about. And then also now, critical illness is because it's a major cost. It affects our lifestyle, it affects our budget because they were going to have to be finding funds to take care of this expense and we have to be pulling funds from other things that we have, to, we have saved up to do. So not everyone is going to be cashless, but then there are some persons who have funds allotted for other reasons, whether it is to buy a property, whether it is to invest in a business, but then we have to be pulling these funds just to sustain our lifestyle. Just to, not even our lifestyle, our lives, just to sustain our lives, to give ourselves a fighting chance. Critical illness insurance provides the answer for that. It's a cheaper way to ensure that you can still do all that you want to do within your life and at the same time be able to live as comfortably as possible. Now, with this plan now, we have, as I said, we have many different plans such as we have our, no, we are powered through Garden Life. Garden Life is a part of the NCB group. We're an agency of Garden Life and we have the Garden Care Plus that covers the 10 illnesses that I mentioned earlier and then we have a more comprehensive plan that which is our ultimate pr provider that covers up to 22 illnesses and will ensure that you have all the peace of mind that, that you deserve. The amount of coverage, the cost of the coverage, we'd have to speak to you because it is like a thumbprint. It is specific for each person. So you have to speak to us as early as is possible to ensure that we can get you the best coverage possible. The plans also come with an investment component to it. So you're taking care of other things while you're protecting your life. So in the event that you have funds that you may need, you don't have to wait on a critical illness. We have you, the investment component can be accessed at any point in time to ensure that you have funds at your disposal at all times. With that being said, I'm here to close by saying start early start the conversation early live as healthy a lifestyle as you can ensure that you eat well you diet well you keep fit keep active and this is going to mitigate the 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 the, the, uh, the experience or maybe you're going to never have a critical illness we don't know but in the same chance that we can't avoid it because of our genes because we're predisposed to it then that is where the life insurance now comes in to provide that security that we need we provide security for ourselves we provide security for our families we have to ensure that our lives are secure as well through criticalness plans and we have all that you need right here at the ncb insurance agency what age can us gentlemen start to prepare with a criticalness plan now we start as early as age 18 and go as high as age 60. now our plans cover you up until your age 75 so in the event that you're diagnosed with a critical illness that can happen between any time at age 18 to 75 but you must have taken the plan out by age 60. along with that now it is not all doom and gloom because it's got a critical illness coverage doesn't mean that you're going to be faced with a critical illness and then there's a there's recourse for that in the event that you hit age 75 you never had a critical illness then guess what every single dollar that you've paid into the plan from inception will be refunded to you at age 75.
So it's not all doom and gloom. This is just about being prepared. And in the event that you never use a plan, then it's only fair that you get back the money that you spent. It's a wonderful plan. I wish to see you very, very soon here at NCB Insurance Agency. Speak with one of our agents, Island Wide. We have somebody who's ready for you. Thank you.